What is up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast. Hope you're all doing well out there. In this video, I'm going to be talking about who the real people going after the sex traffickers and the human traffickers in America are. And in order to achieve these go this goal, I'm going to be using the latest um, reports from the Justice Department for April, where they have arrested many different sex traffickers from all over the world. The U.S. attorney's offices across the country have arrested and prosecuted many different people who are responsible for pedophilia and sex trafficking and human trafficking. And we're going to be looking at that. And, but first, we're going to start out by looking at how QAnon are the people who were absolutely wrong about literally everything they said. They were all partisan hacks who just wanted to, you know, help Donald Trump and attack the Democrats with absolute lies about a uh, cabalistic satanic blood sacrifices and other nonsense talking about how hillary clinton and george soros were eating babies these are ridiculous things that QAnon pushed all of them completely disproven of course without any evidence and i'm going to be showing you guys a classic example of what a QAnon dumbass looks like uh, we're going to be looking at a woman called liz crokin who was banned from youtube back in 2018 because of her lies nothing she has ever said has come true every word out of her mouth is a lie and she can't prove a single thing that she has said. And we're going to be looking at um, how she was presented in a documentary recently, uh, which was very accurate. They let her speak and say her bullshit. And I'm, I'm going to show you guys a clip from what she had to say. And it shows you how stupid these people are. QAnon, like this is this is going to sound very insulting, but it's absolutely true. The dumbest people in America uh, who are religious uneducated and ignorant of any basic scientific fact, they're the people who are attracted to QAnon. And case in point, Liz Crokin. So let's take a look at a video from a recent documentary that I watched called Q Into the Storm. This is a documentary that was made uh, back in 2021. I'll link it in the uh, description box down below. And they went over and they, they went and the guy here went and talked to directly to people who are responsible for the creation of a 2chan, 4chan, 8chan, and 8kun. And 8chan is where Q did most of his drops. So that's why he's rel uh, that's why that's relevant, those uh, boards, message boards. And he talked to these conspiracy theorists one-on-one. -on -one, and we were able to see their stupidity uh, firsthand. So let me first show you guys this, and I'll comment on it as it goes along. Then we'll get to the Justice Department, how they're actually can, uh, going after sex traffickers while QAnon is all talk and fake. And Q is a some loser who lives in Japan who's a, wanna, who's a white guy, half white guy who wants to be Japanese. It's very sad. I've worked on two presidential campaigns. I've worked for many different media companies. I worked for the Tribune Company, and I ran their gossip column for seven years. I had people in the mainstream media tell me we will not cover the child sex trafficking, and I found it appalling. The reason that people in the media told her that they won't cover this fake conspiracy that she came up with is because there's no evidence for it. And you'll hear what she's talking about, this so-called sex trafficking that she's talking It's not regular sex trafficking, which the Justice Department actually goes after the sex traffickers. She's talking about her own version, where only Democrats and people in Hollywood that she doesn't like, they're the only people who are doing sex trafficking. And it's not just sex trafficking. She claims that they're eating babies and doing satanic blood sacrifice, of course. And she's wearing a cross. Why? Because most of these people are stupid Christians who don't know anything about science. Again, we'll get to the science part in a second. So let's keep going. So I left the mainstream media, but I was also blacklisted and censored from other organizations. So I rely completely on donations. I don't make enough money to pay all of my bills. They're all puppets. They are all tools that are used by and manipulated by the deep state to distract, to distract from what is really going on in Hollywood. And that is the rape, torture, trafficking, and sacrificing of children. Literally nothing would surprise me. So Everything she just said, there's no evidence to support a single word that she just said. There hasn't been a single uh, story that has been verified to be true that anybody in Hollywood is doing satanic blood sacrifice. There have been sex abusers in Hollywood. That's, tr that's true. Okay. Harvey Weinstein, many other people who have been uh, covered since then. Women have come out. Absolutely true. Satanic blood sacrifice, though? No, that has not come true because it's not true because she made it up. Okay. And we're just getting started with her stupidity. So, you know, if you tell me that aliens are real and the Earth's flat or it's whatever. Wait, the Earth's flat wouldn't surprise you? No. Really? There, there is nothing that... I expose people that literally rape and eat babies. No, you don't. She's never exposed anybody. 
to me, if that is able to exist in this world, I think anything is possible. Anything is possible. Oh my God. She's so stupid. Oh my God. Did you hear that? Uh, so this, when I first heard this, I had to pause the video, the documentary and rant in my head because this, this is the level of stupidity we're talking about. This is why these people cannot be saved. So, so let's get to the specific stupidity that she just went through. So terrible people exist in the world who are doing bad things to children. That's what she believes in his head. This satanic blood sacrifice, whatever. None of it's proven. All of it bullshit, of course. And uh, conveniently, it's all Hillary Clinton and George Soros and people she doesn't like. It's never a Republican she likes. The o Ironically, the only person who's even come close to matching her description of what these Hollywood elites are doing is actually a Republican... Vestigui. I covered him a couple weeks. This pervert who was watching videos of uh, babies being raped. I covered him. He was prosecuted by the Justice Department and put in jail. He worked for the Trump campaign. Okay. Uh, he worked for the Trump campaign making ads. And he was uh, he actually worked for Trump's White House as well as a press something in the press uh, secretary department, whatever that is. The people who put on the press conference for Donald Trump. He worked for the Donald Trump um, uh, administration. The only guy who comes close to the, what she's talking about, and he didn't even do that. Okay, he was just watching perverted vi and disgusting videos. He was uh, he was a prosecutor for uh, child pornography. I covered that story. I'll link it over here if you want to go watch that video. Th the only person who's even come close is not a Democrat to what she's talking about is actually a Republican Donald Trump supporter has been caught doing uh, looking at child pornography, violent child, child, child pornography. Not a single Hollywood liberal has been convicted of doing satanic blood sacrifice at all okay so all of it lies so let's get to her stupidity so she just said this th this is the kind of level of scientific illiteracy and general uneducatedness that we're dealing with this moron just said that the fact that disgusting pedophiles exist in the world has something to do with the curvature of the earth and whether the earth is flat or not the mathematical the physics the astronomical and geographical fact of uh, the, uh, the fact that the earth is a sphere has nothing to do with how horrible human beings exist in the world but she's so fucked up her brain is so mentally defective i want to be kind here to a point where she can't understand that a f the physical world has nothing to do with what you feel in your fifis inside your head okay the earth being flat or not has nothing to do with pedophiles existing. Those are not logically connected. The, she says that, oh my God, terrible people exist in the world. So I cannot believe, I, I am ready to believe that the earth is flat. This is how stupid QAnon people are. And of course, they're all Christians. She had a cross. You saw it. Every single one of these people are Christians. Why? That, that's, how, that's why they believe in satanic blood sacrifice. Of course, their beloved God and the devil have to be involved in something. QAnon are the dumbest people in the world, and anybody who's dumb enough to even buy a little bit of what they say, this is what you're buying into. People who believe are ready to believe in flat earth. Now she had to throw in aliens in there. Aliens, again, nothing, like, you have to independently verify all these things. So if aliens exist, that has nothing to do with pedophiles, that has nothing to do with the earth. You have to pr present independent lines of evidence to prove everything you're saying. These The things she's talking about have no connections to one another. They're horrible, horrible people that have mental problems that are genetically explained by science. Their, their, their uh, propensities are explained by science and psychology and the kind of fucked up genetic disorders that these people have. She has no interest in any of that. She doesn't know any of that because the American education, education system has failed her. And she obviously hasn't gone to college. She's worked at radio stations. She's an idiot of the highest order. She's religious. There's a great combination to come up with a moron like this who would believe in these QAnon conspiracies. Okay? I was like this... She seems like a perfectly normal woman, but when she opens her mouth, absolute mental deficiencies are revealed. So these are the kinds of people who are in QAnon. And I'm not I'm not in any way using her as uh, an outlier. This is the mainstream of QAnon. You talk to any of these QAnon people, and there are many people presented in that documentary where he, this guy went and talked to these people, all of them same kind of irrationality. All of them are Christian believe in you know the good and evil of the bible and believe in their ridiculous god and this r ridiculous caricature of uh, satan that they've made up uh, everybody has their own every christian i've talked to has their own definition of satan it's hilarious <laughs> because it's not real you can you can interpret fairy tales any way you like so when, once you abandon reality you're gone you're floating in the ether you can believe in whatever nonsense you want so let's get to so that that's a this this person's a representative example of the idiocy in QAnon. now let's get to the people who are actually going after sex trafficker and of course it's the justice department <clears throat> so 
you can actually go to the human trafficking section in the Justice Department um, website and you can learn actual sex traffickers that have been prosecuted by the Justice Department. So uh, just this month alone, we're just going to be looking at April. Tallahassee man convicted of sex trafficking of a minor. And you can go and read exactly where this happened. You can uh, look at the U.S. attorneys that were present. You can go and actually sit at his trial if he has one. Uh, you can verify all these things for yourself. These are ha This is happening in front of judges. And uh, eventually, if there's uh, not a plea deal, then it's going to go to a trial. So you can go watch the trials of these people. You have the t if you have the time to go wait in courtrooms and watch these things, you can do it. But um, these articles are written so that people can get news about what the Justice Department is doing. And this is what they're doing. Dallas man pleads guilty to, lead, uh, to leading violent sex trafficking organization. Nothing to do with Hollywood, nothing to do with satanic blood sacrifice. These people are actually capitalists who are entrepreneurs who are selling human bodies because morality has fallen apart in America. Secular morality has fallen apart. People value money more than human beings and that you can thank capitalism for that. And the conservatives are the ones who love capitalism. So it's your fault. So all the QAnon people who love capitalism, it's your fault that this stuff is happening. OK, it's ironic because QAnon people claim to hate these elites, but capitalism, which they also love, we created these elites. How do you think Bill Gates got his, all his money? How do you think George Soros got all his money? Capitalism. But none of them want to destroy capitalism. It's ironic. Like if you're if you're being logical, you want to destroy the elites, you destroy capitalism, but they don't want to do that. Right. Then they have their excuses. Oh, capitalism is good in other ways, blah, blah, blah. But I thought you said that the elites were the worst thing that that Liz Crokin, for example, I guarantee you she supports capitalism. Right. But she says that these oh, I can't live in this world knowing that I, I believe the earth is flat because uh, because these are horrible people out there. So why don't you just, you know, advocate for destroying capitalism and destroying all these elites and taking their money away from them? Why don't you uh, advocate for that? They, either they don't believe it or they're so stupid they can't make the logical connection. I don't know which one it is. OK, so I don't want to just say they don't believe it because I think they actually do believe it, which is what makes them very scary. So that's just one story. You can go down the line. Mexican national sentence for transporting undocumented non-citizens near Van Horn. Um, Dallas man pleads guilty. Uh, we just went through that. Orlando man sentenced to 24 months, uh, 24 years for sex trafficking by force. And I actually went through and read some of these. It's very disgusting. These people use this, these guys. They used violence to intimidate these victims to keep them under their thumb and use them, traffic them out. And he, this guy's. Um, yeah, especially disgusting. So let me read you guys what this guy said. Um, this guy's name was something white, Henry White. OK, White became upset because he thought victim one was being uh, deceptive about where she was going. White used his revolver to revolver to beat victim one. He then removed four of the five bullets from the revolver and played Russian roulette with victim one while holding the gun to her head and pulling the trigger. This is the kind of sick, disgusting, vile person these people are. So they're not wrong about the sickness, but it has nothing to do with capitalistic uh, sacrifice in Hollywood. OK, these sex traffickers are usually low rent people, one or two people working together to uh, traffic girls to make money for themselves. That had nothing to do with people in Hollywood or Hillary Clinton. This is the reality of sex trafficking, which uh, QAnon people don't want to admit because they just want to attack their political enemies, right? But victim one uh, stated White did this about six or seven times. He then threw victim one's phone at her face, causing a laceration on the center of her forehead in between her eyebrows. And that's just one little uh, thing that he did that I found horrible. So I wanted to cover that. This is in Florida that this guy's being prosecuted uh, and he was sentenced. He was prosecuted and sentenced to 24 years for sex trafficking by force, fraud and coercion. If I was the law, I would have given the death penalty. He'd be dead right now. OK, but, you know, those aren't the laws that we have in this country. We have a bunch of pussies who don't want to give the death penalty anyways. So I have my own disagreements with the justice system, but uh, because they don't use enough force. OK. To, for people that who, who are necessary. Now, for marijuana smokers, those people should be free. But the violent criminals, they need to be killed. Uh, Illinois ban sentenced to 20 years in prison for sex trafficking. So, again, real criminals, not m m imaginary ones who are drunk, drinking blood, but real criminals are prosecuted by the Justice Department. They collect evidence. The FBI does investigations and turns turns it over to, to the U.S. attorneys. Then if, if they have enough evidence, they, they either get a plea or they go to trial and they prosecute these people and uh, put them in prison where they belong. An Illinois man was sentenced to 240 months in prison, followed by five years of supervised release for sex trafficking of a woman and transporting another woman to engage in prostitution. Uh, this was announced by U.S. Attorney Andrew Luger. OK, so there you go. So this goes on and on. Every year they prosecute and they convict and sentence 
hundreds of sex traffickers uh, across the country. There are 93 different offices for the U.S. attorneys. The Justice Department is made up of 93 different offices around the country who prosecute criminals. And uh, these are some of the examples. And this is not even all of them. OK, they don't they don't. Uh, they don't uh, put up every single person that's uh, prosecuted, but they put up some of the worst cases on the website. Then you can go read it, read about it. Again, you can go see these trials if you have the time, if you're willing to wait out these uh, uh, these uh, courthouses. You can actually see the judge and the prosecutors and the defense and the and the uh, perpetrator in arraignment court. And also, when the, if they have a trial, you can go watch the trial. So this is this seems two dimensional on paper, but this actually happens in the real world. OK, so it, it can seem two dimensional when I'm just reading you off a of paper, but you can actually go see these trials yourself because our justice system is open. You can go to the courts and watch these trials for these people if you have the time. I don't have the time. So that's why I rely on their reporting. So just wanted to give you guys a con comparison between QAnon lunacy and the real world where the Justice Department are doing the heroic work of actually prosecuting these disgusting people. Um, and none of the QAnon conspiracies have come true because they're all made up by losers like Liz Crokin. So Liz Crokin was actually responsible for many different conspiracies. She was a big proponent of Pizzagate, which is also a bunch of bullshit. Uh, there was no sex trafficking going down in Comet Pizza. And, and Alex Jones, by the way, had to grovel like a little bitch and apologize to Alephantis, who was the uh, owner of Comet Pizza, for doing uh, this nonsense uh, QAnon bullshit. In our commentary about what had become known as Pizzagate, I made comments about Mr. Alifanis that in hindsight, I regret and for which I apologize to him. To my knowledge today, neither Mr. Alifanis nor his restaurant, Comet Ping Pong, were involved in any human trafficking as was part of the theories about Pizzagate that were being written about in the media outlets and which we commented upon. I want our viewers and listeners to know that we regret any negative impact our commentaries may have had on Mr. Alifanis, Comic Ping Pong, or its employees. Anyways, so she was a, a proponent of the John F. John F. Kennedy Jr. not being dead conspiracy theory, which recently came up because there are some stupid people who actually believe that. Um, he uh, So basically, she pushed, uh, Liz Crokin specifically pushed the uh, conspiracy that uh, John F. Kennedy Jr. did not die in a 1999 plane crash, but faked his death and is behind QAnon. Hmm. And here's her worst prediction, which failed massively. Quote, thousands of high level political business and entertainment figures are involved in cabalistic satanic pedophilia. And she said that this will be proven true before Donald Trump leaves office. So what happened, Lizzie? What happened? You're a liar. OK, that's what happened. You had no evidence that anybody was doing cabalistic Satan that satanic sacrifice. And you're a giant liar. OK, so Liz Crokin has been proven wrong about everything she's ever said. She never exposed anybody. She pretended to expose people. She basically picked out Democrats that she doesn't like and attacked them because they didn't like Donald Trump enough because they attacked Donald Trump because they said something mean about Republicans, whatever it is. She just picked out people she doesn't like and accused them of being pedophiles. That's exactly what Marjorie Taylor Greene is doing now. So she was banned from every single platform for doing that back in 2018. Now. Now these lunatics have come to office. Marjorie Taylor Greene is a proponent of QAnon, believed in QAnon. Now she's out there talking about how Democratic colleagues are pedophiles. Anybody she doesn't like, pedophile. Okay, This is now nor the norm. Marjorie Taylor Greene should be banned from Congress and from social media. Okay, These are not people who belong in civil society. They have no respect for one another, for their fellow uh, human beings. All they care about is partisanship and trying to attack the other side with whatever, including lies. And these people are the perfect example of why we need to reintroduce criminal libel and criminal slander laws so that the Justice Department can prosecute these conspiracy theorists who make up absurd lies about government officials and judges and um, regular citizens without any consequence, because most people don't have enough money to file civil defamation cases. So I think the Justice Department should be going after these conspiracy criminals. OK, that's what they are to me. Liz Crokin and everybody else, Alex Jones and any other person who claims that somebody's a pedophile without evidence should be prosecuted and put in jail or find a lot of money so that they don't do it again. OK, if you want to claim something about somebody, have evidence to back it up. OK, that's that's the bare minimum that you should have to be an honest person, let, uh, let alone everything else. Right. But you still didn't answer my question. Where is your evidence? But no, honesty is not important for Liz Crokin or anybody, any of these people. All they care about is just attacking their opponents or who they seem to be their opponents any, in any way that they can. 
And, you know, the truth be damned. So the real heroes are the men and women of the Justice Department. The uh, losers and whiners who make up fairy tales are QAnon. And Q, by the way, is a giant loser who lives in Japan. Okay, I'll put up a picture of him over here. And I recommend you guys go watch that documentary all the way through and you'll see who Q is. Okay, and what kind of a loser he is. All right, that's all I got to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, press all for future videos. And if you want to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. There'll be a link in the description box. Your support is much appreciated. See you guys in my next video. As always, peace. I'm Enigma Smith. This is Mega City News, the law. Justice Department control tells us that the current officially designated no-go crime zones are sectors 4 through 7, 19, and 30 to 34 inclusive. Zero tolerance policy has been declared for all of these sectors. So don't even think about spitting on the pedway. <laughs> Interplanetary news. Puerto Luminon sex serve are still demanding the location and repatriation of their so-called unlicensed criminal overlord, a field Drago San, who it seems is currently at large in the Big Meg. They say Justice Department authorities should never have allowed him down and in just on the basis of a clean megacity record to then let him vanish without a trace. We say you should have dealt with your own damn problem, so-called independent loonies. Maybe if you bought into the justice system when you had the chance, we might have given you a bit of help. This just in. We now have Justice Department confirmation that a number of bodies found throughout the city originally thought to be mere random kills do indeed bear all the signs of having participated in the killing zone. The illegal snuff game that in these last few weeks has taken the Big Meg by storm. Stay tuned to Mega City News for an in-depth report right after these important messages.